hello friends once again welcome back in my in my youtube channel friends today i'm going to discuss how to import autocad file in etabs uh, everyone confused so i am going to tell you step by step how to make a plan or how to make a center line plan and then how to import that in etabs and how to do the analysis also so so first of all when you uh, like suppose i am in autocad so you want to draw the plan so just click u and enter and change your unit so i want what <coughs> i want in meters so if you want in meter you can do the meters so just meter and meter after this just take a plan from here to here of on your ortho i i know you know about ortho ortho is make the straight line so suppose uh, my one room size is three meter okay and then i have a one gallery suppose this is center line plan gallery of two meters and then again i have my room is three meters and i'll go this side three meter three meter and i'll just click like this and you can just select both and even a mirror command so i'll just do the mirror okay and now i'll go for upper side here here one meter for bathroom this side is for bathroom and then my hall is there so four meter i'll assume the four meter and then i'll go this side three meter again i'll come four meter and then i will just try to click this select both mirror command like this now i want in my house open yard so i just click here first of all suppose uh, like i want a 1.5 meter and then our total was 3 2 5 and 8 so i'll click here 8 meter and just meet it now suppose this is my uh plan and i'll just click here like while click here so that i can provide one column here and one here and one here and one here in any tabs okay so assume like this this is your plan so how can we import this plan in uh, e tabs and this is not a plan this is plan center lines means like if you have a two lines middle of that lines okay so just click here on application menu bar and then you can just click on save as friends after this click here and save your file in dxf version and in lower version like 2013 dxf i'll save here and then just click on desktop so whatever name uh, name you want to give q w e i just put name just save your file and then close your auto get after that open your eight apps now friends just click here and click on new model use built-in setting with metric si and this is indian this is is 800 because it's still indian code this is still con a concrete design code so just concrete and then click ok now friends after this just close this one because our frame is not right now uniform so just click on custom grid spacings okay and then click uh, here on blank okay because see not required grid i'll tell you in next video how to make grid okay this method is for autocad import and I, one more method is there for grid uh, like uh, grid settings so i'll in next video i'll discuss about grid okay so just click okay okay so right now your frame is looking like this so just go to file and then import 
here you can click on dot dxf file to floor plans and then just go to desktop and this was my file so i'll just click here click open and uh, our plan in if that plan is inches you can put inches feet my plan was in meter so i'll click on meter and you can just click here beams why because i am just going to import floor plans center line plans so central plan a center line plan is what between two lines one center line right so this this is beams and where you want to locate your plan so i want to locate in story one why because after story one i want to use replicate for copying the flows okay and after this just click on okay just wait and see your plan and the software want file name so i'll give the file name ERTY and then just wait now right now your plan is there okay your plan is there so it's better for you just click here and then just see your plan yeah. this is on story one okay and if you see here it's not visible right so you can just click here like this and if you're not getting your plan uh, it's okay just close this tab okay and just go there and add new window and you can see it's visible in both uh, uh, here and you can just click if you want to use a plan view so you can go to plan view and this you want to see from story one so apply okay so you have a story one and this okay now after this as usual go to define material properties add new material click here india and here concrete m25 okay and new material and just click on rebar okay rebar. now after this define section properties and frame section i want to add new material concrete so for concrete whatever name you want to i i want to assume this is for beam okay you can write down it's better for you so beam so this is m25 i'll take the beam size is 230 not 300 300 i'm just going to check by 300 by 300 modify hysd hysd and this is beam so cover you can put here 25 25 one no one more material add new material concrete and just click here i want a column and uh, this column is i'll take a 450 by 450 okay okay and okay now it's done uh, we have a uh, materials and beam and column sizes okay so first of all click on columns so for columns you can just click here uh, it's better you can first of all click on beams it's a beams and just click here your beam which one is your beam if this is our beam okay and then just like this okay now column can go here and just click one column i want here one here one one here one here and one here one column you can put here one column you can put here and one here okay so this was our columns okay and after this take up beams 
and just click here on steel beams sorry not steel beam concrete beam sorry and just click here okay click here outer size you can just click here like this and then inner walls if you want to change inner beams you can change the size from their same properties It's time taken but easy okay so we can do by step by step from here to here and then here to here. now it's done after that provide the slabs okay but here you can't provide this slab okay because if you click here let's see so you cannot provide this slab so just go to this slab draw floor slab okay and then first point second point third point and fourth point and then finish just click here and then click to it from here to here and here to here here to here and here to here If column is uh, near about one meter so not provide two columns like uh, this was 1.5 that's why I'll just prefer here one column but if not, not going to provide it's okay like uh, for one and 1.5 meter it's okay but if you use columns so for footings if you go design uh, you can use the combined footing So it's always remember we cannot draw the dro drops floor we just only draw floor by this method okay so by this method you can easily uh, draw the floor and draw the column and beams after this just go to or so you can just select all okay and then go to edit and replicate because i want at least g plus 2 g plus 3 replicate and then just click on story uh, in how many stories because story one already we have so story two three four i want and then apply so by this method you can see your building is copy and other steps you know very well what how to provide the load and after loading you can just know the analysis and then design every every one you know like because i already we discussed in the last videos if you don't have that video i'll give you in a link in description box 
friends tell me how like uh, you understand this uh, this one or not like uh, how was this video and tell me the feedbacks okay so next topic what you want just put in uh, like your comment box so that i can try to make a video on that topics and uh, like if you have any complicated plan because see next time i'm going to uh, like teach you grid plans there are two methods to make the structure analysis in ETS. first is by grid method and second is by center line method so this and the third one is if you, if your structure is uniform so uh, like this one is was center line plan next video i am coming with next video with uh, grid points like uh, grid points from uh, this point to this point this point to this point i'll teach you that in next video uh, if any other topics you want to uh, like uh, see the videos just do the comment and thanks for watching this video because you are doing uh, like you uh, by views are increasing and subscribers are increasing so i thought okay i'll make every topics video but step by step sorry don't mind uh, like uh, if i'll get the time because see uh, i'm doing my job and also the software as a uh, youtube so i'll try to make everything but uh, like with time Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.